So many people complain to me about back pain. And one of the biggest causes of back pain are your hips are too tight and the core doesn't activate well enough. So just try these exercises first thing in the morning or before your workouts, end of the day. You're starting off with a squat to stretch, like a deep squat. And this exercise is just kind of laying down with a kind of frog exercise, a frog position here. Knees are wide, toes are touching, and just drive the hips back and forth. Now for this video, I'm just demonstrating four reps of each, but I want you to start with eight reps of each of these exercises. Then you go into a push-up position, drive the leg as far as you can to the side and keep it as straight as you can. Keeping your arms straight, just drive your hip to the side to stretch that outside glute, outside hip area IT band. Again, these exercises are really good to open up the hips and all different planes of motion and activate your core, which will help alleviate back pain. On this one, you're going to in a plank position. Make sure the base foot stays up, upright, so don't let it rotate. And you're just rotating the opposite side and opening the hip from the front. Again, this really challenges the core, activating the core, and integrating the whole body while you're opening up the hips, again, to alleviate back pain. Going into a downward dog position, stretch the calves out, reach one leg way back, and then go into a pigeon. Now, from the beginning, we're warming up, especially if you're going to work out, don't hold the pigeon more than five or six seconds. We want that muscle to stretch, but we want it to stay active and be able to use it during our workout. Again, just five or six seconds. Now, for these, because you're a little bit more of a hold position, you only need to do maybe two or three reps on each side. 